Hey Divination, thank you for joining us in this live stream and today I will show you how to turn horizontal dividers into vertical ones using Divi's moving company layout pack. So if you haven't checked that out yet, make sure that you do. I've mentioned the link in the description below and if you're not an Elegant Themes member yet, make sure that you check out Divi as well. I've mentioned a link to the product page where you can go ahead and discover Divi for yourself. So without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, so let's start by taking a look at the Moving Company layout pack. So it's a very stunning layout pack, very clean. It also has a very, very nice color palette. It has custom icons included, which are suited for this particular layout pack, but you can use them for other uh, type of websites as well. And if you want to take a look at this layout pack without, without actually having to go to your Divi Builder, um, you can simply go to elegantthemes.com slash layouts. And over here, if you scroll down, you can see all of the layout packs and let's just take a look at the moving company layout pack. So over here you can see all of the layouts that are included and you can view the live demo by clicking on the blue button over here and this will redirect you to uh, a live website where you can see all of the layouts and you can scroll through them without actually having to upload these to your website first. So make sure that you check this out. I've mentioned the link in the description below and let's get started. So what we're going to do today is we're going to turn a horizontal divider into a vertical one. So this is going to look a little different from this, but as you can see over here, we have this effect um, of a timeline. And if you want to use a vertical one instead, you can do that using the views built-in options only. And how exactly you can achieve that, we'll show you right away. So first of all, you will need to upload the landing page of uh, the moving company layout pack. So if you go to your WordPress, um, dashboard go to pages all new add new I'm sorry and you know give your page a title I'm just gonna do it really quick just to show you how easy it is if you're new um, give your page a title publish Wait for the Divi Builder to load, enable the Divi Builder and switch over to Visual Builder. Okay, so here you have three options uh, built from scratch. Choose a pre-made layout or clone an existing page and we're going to choose a pre-made layout. So this, um, this is the exact same um, you know design that you get to see. Uh, within the elegantthemes.com slash layout section over here. So if you scroll down and you go to the moving company layout pack, um, simply select the landing page and click on the green button which says use this layout. So this will ask you for an authentication if you haven't already added that to your theme options and then it will take little to no time for it to upload to your page. And okay, so now we can get started. So over here we have um, the following timeline section. I just want to show you how this works because I thought this was uh, a very interesting technique as well. Uh, what they have done, what Kenny and the design team have done is they have added a top um, border to this row and made the blurb modules overlap. So if I open these settings over here and go to the border settings over here at the top, you can see that there's a border. So I really like this technique. Um, also a very nice way to showcase um, a horizontal timeline if you want to do that so definitely go ahead and experiment with that but now we're going to um, turn a divider module into uh, a vertical one so the first thing we're going to do for that is um, add a standard section below this section over here All right, and we're going to clone this title, um, you know, this row with this title text module in the description, and we're going to place it in our new section because we'll need uh, an introduction as well. And then we'll add a new row, and this row will need two equally sized columns. So I'm just going to use this column structure, but you can actually make this work with any kind of column structure. Um, whether you're using one column, two or three, this will work perfectly fine. And before I'm 
going to add any modules. I'm going to open the row settings over here and I'll go to the spacing settings and add 60 pixels to the top margin just to create a little bit of space between the previous row and this one. And now I can start adding my divider module. So you guys are probably already familiar with the divider module. Um, it has this option where you can show it or hide it. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hide it because we're not going to use um, the design settings of the divider. We're actually going to use this element to transform it into a vertical one. So I'm going to disable this. And the next thing I'm going to do is add a gradient background. And for this, I, uh, I will use colors that are, um, you know, included in this uh, layout pack. So this will match the overall look and feel. But if you're, you know, doing this on another website that you've created, feel free to use whichever colors you want. And if you want to follow everything step by step, you can also check out the blog post. Um, I've mentioned it in the description below, where you can follow everything step by step written down and you know just take your time with it all right so we have this so this is the divider that we have up until now we've hidden the the, the the divider but you know even though it's hidden it still takes up space on our page and the next thing we're going to do is open the sizing settings and for that we're going to the design tab open the sizing settings over here and the nice thing about this divider module is you can you know decide how uh, how long, how, how, you know, how long you want it to be. So you can play around with the width over here. And we're going to use a very, um, a very low value. We're going to use 2%, but feel free to make this divider uh, as thick as you want to. And as you can see over here, it's already starting to look um, like a vertical divider. And we're also going to use center module alignment. And this is for um, alignment purposes, we want um, the divider to appear in the middle of the blur module that we'll be adding next. And we're also going to add some custom padding. So what this will do is this will increase the space at the top and the bottom and you can make it as long as you want to, but to make it match with the blurb modules that we'll add, we'll need 480 pixels for both the top and the bottom. So if you add 480 to the top and you add it to the bottom as well. This is the vertical timeline that you will get. So this is part one. The next part is adding the blurb modules and making sure that they overlap um, the divider module. So the vertical one. Okay, so we're going to reuse these over here. And for that, I'm just going to switch over to wireframe view because um, it really, you know, it really helps you keep that structure. I love using the wireframe uh, view and I'm just going to place these right below my divider module. All right. So if I scroll down, this is uh, the result that we have up until now. And we're going to make some modifications to the fir first bar module and afterwards uh, we'll make them apply to the other ones as well using uh, the copy paste uh, feature that Divi provides you with just to help you save a lot of time. So I'm going to open um, this blurb module, go to the background settings over here and I'm going to use a slightly transparent white color uh, which will still make the divider colors show through a little bit, but it won't interrupt with um, the content. So everything will still remain readable. So I recommend doing this. Um, and I'm also going to change the icon font size by going to the design uh, tab over here and changing it to 65, I believe. Yes. And as you can see over here, they overlap a little bit and that's because they were overlapping this top border in, in the horizontal timeline that you can see over here. So I'm going to get rid of that and um, you can simply do that by just clicking on this uh, arrow over here and removing it also. That will do the job. And 
I'm done modifying the first blurb module and now I'm just going to right click on this blurb module over here, copy the module styles and paste them in the remaining um, blurb modules. Here we go. And we'll also need to add some spacing to the first and the last blurb module. And this will make the overlapping um, uh, happen between the divider module and um, the blurb modules. So um, everything that's below a certain module has a uh, priority. So if you choose to overlap this um, to the divider module, you simply have to use a negative top margin. Um, you know, this is a higher element, although it won't seem like that um, once we do it, but once you exit the visual builder, you will see the effect uh, right away. So let's just open this, this first um, blur module over here, go to the spacing settings, and I'm going to use uh, minus 900. Okay, so over here it doesn't seem like um, these are above the vertical divider, but once we exit the visual builder, um, everything will fall into place. And of course, if you're going to use other modules to overlap a timeline, you will need to play around with this negative top margin just to make it match. So I would recommend you use pixels as well because this looks good on all screen sizes. Um, let me just show you really quick. As you can see, it really keeps um, its position, whether you're viewing it on tablet, phone, or desktop. So over here, make sure that you use pixels instead of percentage or something like that. So um, now the only thing left to do is add some bottom margin to this last blurb module as well, just to create that space between this section um, and the next one. And I'm just going to use 150 pixels. Uh, for the bottom margin, so this will create sufficient space over here. And here we have our vertical timeline, and now you can play around with the modules that you want to appear in the second column as well. For instance, you can drag this image module and place it in the second one just to um, fill the space up a little bit and you know emphasize the content that you're sharing. And you can also play around with the spacing of this image module as well. So I'll just add uh, some top margin just to center this uh, image. And I'll use 300 pixels for the top. And on tablet and phone, I'll only use 30. And also use some bottom margin for tablet and phone. Okay, so the only thing left to do now is remove the sections that we've used to create this vertical timeline. So this one over here you can remove and this one as well. And I'm going to save my page. And I'll just show you really quick what it looked like on different screen sizes. So this is the end result, but I'll show you what that looks like uh, once the visual builder is disabled. So everything will fall into place, but the structure is doing fine. Okay, so let's exit the visual builder and take a look at the final result. As you can see, the blurb modules are overlapping the vertical divider and we have this uh, slightly transparent white color um, that makes the text still readable, but still allows the colors to show through as well. And yeah, that was it. So thank you for watching. We hope that you're enjoying this live stream and the Divi initiative where we try to put something extra into your design toolbox each and every week. If you want to share your own knowledge skills uh, with the community, make sure that you check out one of the links in the description below uh, that will lead you to the contribution blog post where you can figure out how to um, contribute to the elegant themes blog. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video or live stream.